In question number 10, we have a standard ISLM model. It's just that the monetary authority is choosing the nominal money supply M to ensure that the resulting money market equilibrium keeps interest rate fixed at some target level. So if you were to draw the money market curves, uh, so this is let's say the demand for money, demand and supply for money M and this is let's say interest rate. So we know that this is my money demand curve which is uh, so M by P real money demands let's say but P is fixed anyway so it doesn't make a difference but yeah real money demand M by P demand. So this is the real money demand curve and the real money supply curve is going to be like this. Okay, So this is the money supply. So we have a fixed interest rate of I naught. Now if it wants to increase the target inflation what it needs to do is reduce the real money supply M bar. So it reduces money supply to M bar so what happens is that interest rises to I prime. So in order to do this what the monetary authority needs to do is to reduce money supply which we know from the standard ISLM model is basically a contractionary monetary policy and what it's going to do is that it's going to reduce my equilibrium output Y star. So I know that a contractionary monetary policy will inevitably reduce my equilibrium output. So that's why we'll see a fall in equilibrium output here.